Drawing Friends. Today I have something truly exciting to share with you, the best sewing projector. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting your sewing journey, having the right tools can make a world of difference. And trust me, this one's a no-brainer if you're ready to get started sewing with a projector. Make sure to stick around because I'm going to show you three ways to mount the best projector for sewing. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive updates on the latest tips and tricks for using a sewing projector. Now let's talk about the star of our show today, the best sewing projector. What makes it the best, you ask? Well, first and foremost, it's budget friendly, making it accessible to a wide range of sewists without breaking the bank. We all love a good deal, don't we? Next, let's talk about this projector's native resolution. Its native resolution is 720 pixels. We recommend projectors of about 720 pixels or more, although we don't find that more makes it better for sewing. So we do recommend a native resolution of about 720 pixels. Now, the third thing that makes this projector a great candidate for sewing is it's relatively low throw ratio. And if that word is new to you, don't worry. What this really means is it has an optimal throw ratio to make an image size that's big enough to cut out patterns in the distance that many people have from the ceiling to their cutting table. This projector has a throw ratio of about 1.2. That means most sewists could produce an image size of at least 24 by 36 inches in their sewing space. This chart will show you about the image size that you'll get at a given distance. This is from your lens to your cutting surface. So I recommend at least 42 inches or 106 centimeters to get a about an A1 size or 21 inches by 35 inches about on this projector. And you can definitely go higher, but I wouldn't go any lower. You're gonna get a small image. Another quality that, that makes this projector a great projector for sewing is its small size. Its small size is easy to mount on the ceiling and maneuver so that you can get accurate calibration. You're not going to be de dealing with anything very big or bulky. This projector weighs less than two pounds. Now let's go ahead and get into how to mount this projector for sewing. I'm going to give you three options. Obviously you can use several different ways, but I'm going to give you a way to mount this on the ceiling, on the wall, or not putting any holes into your wall or ceiling using a tension rod mount. Let's go ahead and check them out. First, let's talk about the best way to mount this projector to the ceiling, and that is using the basic niche mount. And I will provide a link below where you can get this. It is made by a sewist for a sewist, and it's going to make your calibration process the simplest ever. It mounts it flush with the ceiling, giving you as much distance between the projector and your cutting table as needed. It has leveling screws on it that allow you to make micro adjustments to the projector to get the most accurate calibration as possible in the fastest amount of time possible. The great thing about this mount is if you want to slide your projector out and use it for movies, you absolutely can, and then slide it right back in and check your calibration and you're ready to sew again. This is definitely the most convenient and the best way to mount a projector on a ceiling, but I also include any single point universal projector mount will work. I will link some that I suggest below, but this is the best one if you are mounting to the ceiling. Let's go ahead and move on and talk about the best way if you are mounting from a wall. This 
projector is a mini type projector. It means it needs to be extended over the center of your table. If you are going to mount from a wall, your table should be flush with the wall. And then you will need a mount such as this one that I recommend that extends the projector out over your cutting table. Don't forget to check the link in the description below to this one that will move your projector over the center of your cutting mat and you can screw it right into the wall. Another option for mounting this projector is using a tension rod with a clamp mount. And again, you'll need a pole that kind of extends it over the cutting mat. You just put up that tension rod with the projector on the end. This does not require any drilling, any holes in any wall, and it's pretty portable. You can take it down and set it up anywhere that you need. And this is just using a regular curtain rod. I will again put the links to everything that I used in this mount below. But as you can see, there are several options. There's also a tripod option if you would like to use a tripod. It really depends what you want to do and how you want to set it up. All right, let's go ahead and summarize what makes this a great projector for sewing. First, the budget. This projector is around $50 US. You're gonna see that price kind of fluctuate, coupons offered. There are two resellers on Amazon that seem to be selling the same manufactured projector. So I'm going to provide both links in the description below and you could check which one is cheaper at the time that you're going to purchase. Next, this projector, it has a native resolution of 720 pixels. We found that this native resolution minimizes any distortion or things that might happen during calibrating. You definitely don't want to go lower native resolution. If you get something with higher native resolution and you have a newer computer, it's fine, it, it's not necessarily gonna provide any better benefit, but it it is good. Next, this projector is lightweight. It's easy to handle, it's easy to mount and move around. You're not gonna be dealing with something very big and bulky as you are calibrating. So it makes it great that it is small and it is lightweight. Finally, the image size. The image size that you can get with this one is pretty decent. It, you, most people will be able to get an A1 sized image, which is about 23 inches by 33 inches or 59 centimeters by 84 centimeters and as little as 42 inches from the lens to your cutting table. And many people have this distance in their sewing room. I do highly recommend that you measure the distance between your ceiling and your cutting table, just so you can see what the distance is that you have between those. But if you have at least 42 inches between the projector lens and the cutting table, you're going to get a, an, about an A1 size. Any time you can increase that distance, you're gonna get a larger image. Next, I wanna talk about my recommendations. Now, this projector, you're not gonna find it as like the brightest projector. Honestly, it is a budget projector. It's not super bright. So it does need to be used in a dim environment. If you have direct light from a window, if you could have curtains on it or be able to dim lights or even put some kind of shadow just right where you're cutting, this does need a dim environment. If you want a brighter projector that can cut with some daylight in the room, you're gonna wanna look at a different projector that is brighter. This one has decent amount of brightness for the price, but it does need to be used in a more dim environment. Next, think about how you're gonna mount it. I gave you some three options, but there are many ways to mount. I do highly recommend the basic niche mount, and I'll have a link below that if you're gonna mount from the ceiling, this is the most hassle-free way to mount the projector. Next, I want you to think about the device that you connect to. This projector can connect both using HDMI or wireless. I prefer to connect using a computer, all the programs that you might want to use for pattern alterations or projecting your PDF patterns are compatible with a computer. My top choice is a laptop, but if you have an iPad, that is an option as well. Chromebooks and phones do work, but not the best. So that's like my least favorite choice. Definitely if you have a laptop, if you have a computer, that's gonna be your preferred way to mount a, or to connect a sewing projector. 
Thank you for joining me today. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button.